Hi, I'm HP from Salted Bush, and today we're going to play Box 1 from Neil Patrick Harris and his collaboration with Theory 11. Uh, so, this is a game created for one person. It's a board game created by one person the one person, Neil Patrick Harris, for one person to play a game for one, created by one. This is the the board game website. It's currently exclusively at Target. And then if you can't get to a Target or don't have a Target in your area, it'll slowly branch out and be available at other stores online and I think in store too. So we can look more at this web page. It'll be in the description down below. And now, let's get into the board game. See? Ooh, fancy, fancy. It just came in today. This is like my first time opening it up. Oh, fancy packaging. <laughs> it's not real metal, by the way. It's just shiny, shiny paint stickery things. But. You gotta love the box. <laughs> it's so... Gets you in the mystery solving or like puzzle solving mood. So the first thing in the box is this letter. It says, Hey friend, it's your friendly friend, Neil Patrick Harris. I hope you're alone and excited to challenge yourself. Because you're about to dive deep into my crazy awesome new game. Box one. Yeah. You'll be using all of the items you find inside to complete the box one challenge. Are you by yourself right now? Seriously, are you? Okay, great. Because I am. I'm by myself. The other members aren't online. <laughs> okay. The game involves a series of challenge cards that you need to play in order. Uh, eh. The game involves a series of challenge cards that you need to play in order. For every instruction, uh, follow every instruction strictly and keep your eyes peeled as you never know when this game might take a turn. Use the notepad and pen to jot down any thoughts or clues that you discover along the way. Feel free to consult the internet, I have my computer right there, <laughs> for any help you may need. To begin, find the block, the black envelope in the game box. It contains an important message inside. Read it now. After that, open the box of challenge cards and Read the first card. If you truly get stuck and need a hint, visit www.box1game.com slash help. Good luck, Neil Patrick Harris. Yeah. Yay. You can pause the screen right now and read it for yourself because I know I, I did a bad job reading it. And it doesn't really seem like there's anything on the back. Maybe there is later. Well, we'll find out. So, this is the black envelope. And inside, there is one card. I don't know if you can see that. There's a message on the card. It says, meet me at the top of the hour on the staff live chat. You will need the second key. And then it has what seems like an IP address, which may be why I need internet. <laughs> okay, so I think this is needed a bit later. It's going to go there. This is the notepad. This fancy paper. I don't... I wonder if any of these icons 
are going to be um, important the further we get into the game. But it, overall, nice, just paper. And this, a Neil Patrick Harris pen. Focus, focus, focus. Yeah, right there. It's a fancy pen, but just a pen. And this, this is why it might be <laughs> this um, particular series may be longer than just one episode. <laughs> There's so many cards. So that's all of what's in the box. Nothing else. Uh, let me just... Ooh! Hey! I didn't really notice that. <laughs> okay, that was under this. I was just double checking. Cool. And, ooh, fancy fancy. Ooh. Okay. Wow, a floppy disk. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna get. Oh. Okay, there, there's just so much. I, you know what? Let me just get through the cards first, and then we'll get through this. Uh, get back in the envelope. Get back in the envelope. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? Ugh. Ugh. I shouldn't have put this back. <laughs> Hold on. I have I have screwdriver. I have screwdriver. Or something flat. Would this work? Nope. <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> Not even in the game yet. Okay. See kids, be like Tommy. From Rugrats and always have a screwdriver. Okay, I got Future Secrets back in the box. <laughs> screwdriver helped to pry that up. Now I know I may need the screwdriver in the future. Remember, always be like Tommy from Rugrats and have a screwdriver around, <laughs> especially a flathead. Very useful. Anyway, so got that out of the way. Uh, took some notes on the black envelope card, what it said, and now let's get in to the game with number one. Welcome to card number one of box one. Prepare to take a journey like never before. In this ever-evolving game of trivia, puzzles, riddles, and cryptic codes, I really hope that you are the one to successfully complete box one. You must follow all of my instructions very carefully. Now take a deep breath. Whew. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep the cards in order over here. <laughs> oh, and let it out. <laughs> I went too early. No. <laughs> okay, now you can go back to normal breathing. Did you do that? Fantastic. Just a simple test to see if you're good at following instructions. I don't think I am, because yeah, I already messed up. <laughs> Number three. Right there. Now, take the card from the black envelope, put it in your freezer, and leave it there. Seriously. You have to do that. Once you've done that, come back and keep playing. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna... It's probably so we can see this message clearer. Oh, in certain light you can't see it. Oh, fancy. But yeah, if you hold it at a certain angle, you can kind of see it. I think putting it in the fridge will help that. Because it's a thing with f 
Frickson? Frickson pens? I don't know. It's a thing with Frickson pens that heat erases the message, but not a lot of people know that you can bring the message uh, the message back by like not heating it up, um, colding it up, <laughs> taking the temperature of the piece of paper you've written it down on back down, which you can do that by sticking it in the freezer. So if you have a Frickson pen, not like this one, this is the one from the box, you write it and then you use the friction part to erase it with heat. If you want that back and to see it clearer, you could just stick it in the fridge and then after a while, I don't know how long, it'll pop back up. It's fun. You should, um, that's a fun thing to do if you want a little experiment. <laughs> Number four, stop. The next card is super important. Okay, proceed when ready. Good thing I stopped. I had to cough. <laughs> Number five. Now, make sure you play all the cards right underneath me in order. Okay, ready, set, go. Okay. Using the capital letters from the previous card, solve this. Blank is the capital of what country? Ooh. So that's six. And this is five, the previous card. So P, A, R, I, and S are the capital letters. So Paris is the capital of France. I'm just going to write that whole thing down. Paris. Yeah. This game is going to make me realize how bad my note taking is. <laughs> okay. Number seven. What is the most famous landmark in that country? The. Ooh, and there's numbers if you can see. So, I want the Eiffel. Shit, I got to got a Google I just got a Google how to spell Eiffel Tower <laughs> I I just need to know if I spell it right <laughs> okay 11 okay Ooh. Just wrote it down so I can remember it easier. I should, I should sir, write down the famous as well because it's circled. Um, just gonna famous circle. Buy them. Show your work. Show your work. Always show your work. Number eight. Use the letters in a specific order from the previous answer to complete this quote. There is nothing so important as something. I gotta use, see, that's why you always gotta use the letters from those markings to fill out this. There is nothing so important as trifles who said this i do not know so let's google it uh, nothing so so important as trifles a uh, quote is by Sir Arthur uh, Conan Doyle. But there is no space for a sir, so I don't need the sir. Back to the game. Uh, number nine. His most popular character was, if you don't know this, it was Sherlock Holmes. He was the guy who wrote Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock. Sure. 
La. Damn it. I don't know how to spell Sherlock. <laughs> I I think it ends with an E, so I'm 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 kind of. Oh no, never mind. It's right there. <laughs> Sherlock. Okay, I got the spelling right. Ooh, jeez. Okay, this one. The char uh, this character had a partner in the stories whose name was. I don't know if they want John or Watson, but also stories is circled, so I'm gonna write that down. Is Watson? Yeah, John would be too short. But yeah. Just keeping a track of the words that are circled. Oh! Oh, look at that! I was about to put it down, and then I saw this on the back of one of the cards. So, 9 is B. Dang it, I fucking know. God, this... My notes are gonna be so out of whack. Okay. Just double checking the backs. Okay. So far, we only have 9 equals something. Okay. Use the name of the, from the previous answer. This female actress launched her career in a series of movies about a boy named... Oh, I think it's Emma Watson is the female actress that launched her career in a series of movies about a boy named Harry Potter. Fuck yeah. Okay. Number 12. He was most well known for having a blank on his forehead. I had... The word scar and I was reading forehead so it came out score head <laughs> but it's a scar okay. ooh this is this is new looking uh, answer from the previous card so scar was the villain in what animated movie from 1994 the Lion King uh, Famous stories and movie are all circled. That's one of my favorite movies, man. Favorite movies. Yeah. Dude, the songs in those movies are awesome. Quick clip right here. Hakuna Matata. Uh, it means no worries. Hakuna Matata. So number 14, when you take your opponent's last word from the previous... Oh, king. King, you win at the game of chess. I, I mean, this one was is more obvious to me because I just finished watching the Netflix series The Queen's Gambit, which is so fun to watch. It's a great show. If you haven't watched it, you should. So famous stories... Movie, win. Those are circled. Mm -hmm. Game of chess. Okay. Number 15. Oh. There's a noticeable gap right here. I might stop this recording once we get to there for interesting things okay number 15 in the rule eh, in the rules of the game chess the color blank is always supposed to go first it's white number 16 the red house is on the white street and the Blue house is on the red street. Where is the white house? 
Washington, <laughs> Washington D.C. <laughs> I mean, you can you can kind of tell. Uh, blue is circled. Blue, blue's clues. Hey, blue's clues. <laughs> I also have Washington D.C. on the brain because right after watching the Queen's Gambit. I didn't know what to watch, and I just watched what was popular on Netflix, which is um, The West Wing, which takes place in Washington, D.C., in the White House. Number 17! The longest answer from the previous card. Okay, Washington is f found on the front of the $1 bill. B I L L. Yeah, one dollar bill. This game is pretty fun. And it's cool, like, especially during COVID times, to have a game where you could just play it by yourself. Number 18. On the back of the one dollar bill, there are three words in English and in. I think it's Latin. I think they mean English and Latin. L A T I N. Yep. I do not have a one dollar. Oh, I do have a one dollar bill to confirm this. <laughs> I thought I had no money. I have two dollar. I have some money. Let's see. Let's see. So there's English. And then. I think they mean this one. Yeah, I think that's that one. I mean, that's the only three worded thing I can find on the back in on in Latin. I mean, there's this on in Latin as well, but it's two words. Mm. We're going to have a good luck dollar. Ooh, ooh, this one's cut up. The previous answer, which is Latin, the Latin word for lapis is blank in English. I, I need to Google this. Uh, uh, translate, I think. Translate. From Latin to English, and then it's lapis. It's hard to type with a dollar in the keys. Oh! What does lapis lazuli? You know, from Minecraft. Oh, it must just mean, like, blue stone, because if lapis means stone. So, number 20. The last word from card 13. Shit. <laughs> I, I should... I should have... Oh, damn it. <laughs> I should have been numbering, numbering this. <laughs> so, number 13. The last word from the answer to card 13... King. It should be king. The first name from the answer to card 8, I think that was the Harry Potter one. Emma Watson, Harry Potter. Oh, wait, no. It's Arthur. Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. King Arthur. Pulled a sword from the answer of number 19, the last one we did, which was stone. Okay, number 21. A silent letter in sword is what number in the alphabet? God damn it. Uh, I'm gonna take a page off and <laughs> I need more room 
you that. What? I don't want to count it out. <laughs> Numbered alphabet, please. Uh, w is number 23. <laughs> and it fits the answer key. Because at first I was thinking, ooh, is, is it W from tower? And that's a 9. I guess it could be a 0, 9, but... I don't know. If it's wrong, we'll get to it. <laughs> okay. The answer from the previous card represents a legendary athlete with the nickname... Fuck. <laughs> so, I, I gotta Google this, because I don't... I don't know. Famous... I don't know. Sports... Athlete... Number... Oh, oh, I don't know sports, but I should have known that. He was in Space Jam. <laughs> okay. What was his nickname? Oh, Michael Jordan. What's your nickname? Uh, Ani. Names. Uh, oh, yeah. Air Jordan. It's gotta be Air Jordan. Yeah. Number 23. Uh, you. Neil Patrick Harris. Like, god dang it. That, that, that's smooth to have the. 23 is the W's 23rd letter in the alphabet. Famous person associated with the number 23. Michael Jordan. And then number 23. Like, you you ordered it so well. <laughs> wow. While I am in the first word from the answer from the previous card. While I am in air. I am not in oxygen. I am also uh, in Neil Patrick, Har Neil Patrick Harris, but not in Bob Smith. <laughs> I am necessary to the game, but I am not in the rules. What am I? God damn it. <laughs> First off, circled word. So far, we got famous stories, movie, wind, blue, silent, oxygen. Well, I am in air. I am not in oxygen. So, I, I am also in Neil Patrick Harris, but not in Bob Smith. Oh, it's the letters A, I, R right so A, I, and R are not in oxygen it's also in Neil Patrick Harris so uh, again A, I, R, R but not in Bob Smith so it's got to be A or R I am necessary to the game, but I am not in the rules. Oh, so it's A. It's A. The T-H-E L E T-T-E-R and then A. The letter A. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one, sir. Ooh. Looky, another cut card. Um, answer from the previous card. The letter A is also not in secret. Ooh. <laughs> Box. Secret. Oh. Ooh. This is the last of the face up. Oh, dude! 
these cards are fake! <laughs> Dude, that's so good. Okay, I'm going to show you what's in here after finishing number 25. Number 25. Neil Patrick Harris is a blank from... Is a secret... Has a secret. Continue by using clues in the cards below. Ooh. Ooh. So, you think these are cards, right? No, they're not. It's fake. It's plastic. Oh. Wow. Wow. They actually cut cards. See? You can you can actually f see the ripple. That's that's pretty cool. That's why it seems so natural over there. Ooh, and then at the bottom of the box, E equals zero. 9 equals B, and 0 equals E. Yeah. Anyway. So, in this box, we have a letter saying, Hello, if you are reading this, thank you already. My name is Martin Maloney. I can't say much now, but Neil kidnapped me, and I need your help. I created a pair of keys inside the stack of challenge cards you just played. You will need to use those torn key cards to access a secret compartment inside this game. Remove the black plastic tray from the game box. Locate the three holes underneath. Insert the keys and push. Oh. <laughs> it's the thing we weren't... I guess we weren't supposed to find the thing earlier. Good thing we waited. Good thing we waited. Oh, so that's how you use the, the keyed cards to open it from underneath. That's cool. Good luck. I'm counting on you, Martin. Martin. So that was the note. Ooh, I should look at the back of the note. There's nothing on back. Uh, this is the note. You can pause the screen to read it again if you want. That's cool. Oh, this hefty coin. Ooh, with a decoder. Look at that. Bam. This is like a solid coin. I don't know if you could hear that, but like that's that's solid. And then oh, even the bottom is look at that. Even the bottom is actually cut cards. It's not like molded plastic, which is really cool. Ooh, Martin Maloney, Chief Innovation Officer. Ooh. Let's go to that website. <laughs> um, so, NPH Games dot com slash staff, and you know what? I think ooh, fancy, fancy. Let me just grab the key, the the first card, the black envelope card from the fridge. I think this is the time we need it. Okay, so it does work in the fridge. It does do that, but my room is so hot it fades quickly. So I brought an ice pack. Uh, you can see it go. I already wrote down what it says, but look at that, that's fucking awesome, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put, because we already know what this says, I'm gonna put this back into the black envelope, just for safekeeping. I love the puzzles and the little, like, awesome things that he does. God, this game is so fun. It's just fun. God dang. 
You know what? Shh. There. <laughs> and then the ice pack is just gonna go on over there. So, what's supposed to happen is you take this out. Oh, I found something else. I think. Yeah, I did. Oh, this has a false bottom. Like, you can kind of tell, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sh Yeah. Like, dude. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. This is amazing. This is amazing. Okay, we'll get back to... Okay, box, you go there. <laughs> anyway, the three kid cards go here. Uh, let me see if I can find it again. Oh, cool, this is magnets. <laughs> so it goes perfect. Ah, oh, this is amazing. I'm leaving the coin out, just in case. Twenty-four, twenty-five. That goes there. This is what we found earlier. Um, I learned from earlier. Don't put this in yet. <laughs> Don't put that back in the box yet. Oh, I think the ring is gonna go in. Oh. And then the rest of what we have is here. Go through all the clues to find the next step. The key lies in this note. Combine and chain the clues to navigate this web of mystery. The proposed site is found by folding this clue. And then let's fold it, I guess. Oh, uh, yeah. Go to Keychain website. I did. That's over here. So we went to the Keychain website. Okay. And then number three is a fortune cookie message. A dubious friend may be an enemy in camouflage. Lucky numbers are seven or twelve. Seven, eighty, three, twenty-nine, and eighty-nine. Ooh. Okay, I feel like a dubious friend. Uh, focus, focus. A dubious friend may be an enemy in in camouflage. I think they're talking about Neopatrick Harris because at the very start of the game or opening the box was Hey friend, it's your friendly friend Neopatrick Harris I thought, okay that's weird but maybe he's just being him I don't know and then now we have a peanut butter cup loyalty card <laughs> oh we're almost at our free peanut butter cup Okay, and then we have this, this old floppy disk. This was in the thing. I think you probably have to get this out somehow. It's not sliding and the arrow is pushing up so I don't, nothing's pulling up. I don't know. If Something feels magnety. I don't. Okay, let's go back to the keychain. Uh, it's in here. There. Is there anything else on this keychain? Ooh, look at that. Oh, this isn't a part. 
where I don't know what to do. So, why don't I end the video there? Uh, we can pick up the second part in, an, in the next video. Right? Okay. So, thanks for watching. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe. And keep an eye out for our next video on this awesome board game. So cool. Oh, oh, I, didn't, I think I just figured something out. So you really do want to go there. But like, like and subscribe and comment what you think the next move is. If you're right, we'll pin your comment. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.